Hello students, welcome to Sodop Set classes. Uh, we are today uh, uh, continuing our uh, discussion on this CSR English Select GRF exam uh, question answers. Uh, we have already solved some of these question answers of this exam. And now our present question is. Number one, GT sixty four has this unpaired unpaired electron electrons with some of the spin dash. Now the options are A six three B eight three C eight four and D seven five. Now once again I am repeating uh, this gadolinium uh, having uh, its atomic number sixty four has unpaired electron uh, electrons uh, having has dash unpaired electrons with total sum of this spin is dash. So we have to calculate first that how much how many unpaired electron is there in the in the gadolinium atom and what will be the total sum of this spin. So it is uh, we can see that uh, in, in case of gadolinium the electronic configuration GD Having electronic configuration of xenon core XC four F seven four F seven three D one sorry five D one five D one six S two. So this is the uh, electronic configuration of gadolinium. 3D xenon core 4S, 4F7, 5D1, 6S2. Now, if we see the F orbital, it has seven electrons. Two, three, four, five. So, if it is your four F orbital, then there is seven electrons in this four F orbital. And there are one electron in D orbital. One electron in the five D orbital and two electron in the six S orbital. Uh, not here. So total number of unpaired electron is eight. So total number of unpaired electron that is equal to eight. And we know that each electron has a spin of half. So total spin spin equal to eight into half. 
that is 4. So total number of Arger electron is 8 and total spin is 4. So C is the correct option. So what we did is that we, we know the uh, electronic configuration of gadolinium and from there we get that it has a configuration of 4F7 5D16H2. So there is 7 electron in the 4F, 1 electron in the 5D orbital and so we had a more total 8 unpaired electron, 8 unpaired electron and this unpaired electron uh, total number of spin will be, each had spin of half, so total number of spin is 8 into half, 8 into half, that is 4. So the correct option is 8 and 4. So C is the correct option. Our next question is, next question is, uh, Number two, following following are the values are the values of of the electron affinity affinity. of in kilojoule per mole inverse the formation formation of O minus and O2 minus from O A is one forty two seven zero two B minus one forty minus 702 C minus 142 and plus 702 and D minus 142 minus 142. Now, we, we see the question is following are the value of electron affinity in kilojoule per mole for formation of O, o minus and O2 minus from O. So, which is the correct value that we have to find out. Now, we know that for fast ionization IP, a fast ionization affinity that is from O to O minus, this is an exothermic reaction. Exothermic reaction. So heat will be evolved. Heat will be evolved. So this value will be negative. But when O minus is further converted to O2 minus, then there is a, uh, sorry, O2 minus, then there is a repulsion between this negatively charged oxygen with the incoming electron. So this electron has to be uh, put inside the uh, oxygen. Uh, inside the oxygen atom with for with uh, giving external force that is it requires energy to be to uh, put o minus into o2 minus 
So to change this O minus to O2 minus, we need some energy. So this process is an endo endothermic process. Endothermic process. And it will be, energy is required. So this is a positive. So in the first case, it is exothermic. And in the second case, it is endothermic. First case, it is negative, And second case, it is positive. So the actual correct option will be C. In the first case, it is 142 kilojoule per mole. This much of energy is released for the to electron affinity. But in the second case, when electron is interacting with another negative charge, and the negatively charged oxygen, then we need extra energy to force the electron to sit inside the orbital, outer orbital, outer orbit of this uh, oxygen atom. So this process is uh, endothermic process, we need energy, and in this process is an exothermic process where we are getting the energy back. Now, so this C is the correct option.